All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to work with the mole spline uh, in mole grab, mole grab, mole spline. Basically, if you create a mole spline, um, you guys are going to notice that it just creates this little spline within your content. And uh, if you hit Shift R just to render it out, it won't render. Uh, one of the things that I would like to do is just basically display something like, uh, let's say, a cogwheel. All right. And then what I can do from this, I can create a nice little sweep into it. I'm going to drop both of them inside of it. And then you're going to notice that now I'm going to have a nice little cogwheel there. Or if you like, uh, I don't know, you want to create a churro, that's a good way to do a nice little churro or whatever might be the case, right? All right, cool. Now, this small spline is pretty, pretty awesome little tool. Um, one of the things that you notice, uh, whenever you do a sweep into Cinema 4D, you can control the thickness with the size of your spline that you're using. It could be a circle, like right now I'm using the cockwheel. Uh, but basically, if you go into the mole spline, you're going to find here something called, um, under the simple tab, there's the width basically allows you to control the width. Now, if you notice, there's this kind of like ghost out uh, element. That's just basically the display of the mole spline. I can basically turn that off. That way you can see the actual um, model. If I come here, I can just basically do all this bunch of changes of thickness. Now, some of the cool uh, part of uh, the mole spline is basically, uh, there's this thing called the segment. And if you notice, uh, let's say, for example, I put about seven segments. Uh, you don't see any changes because one of the things we got to change is the different angles. If you notice, I'm going to change this on different angles. Let's kind of do that. Change this a little bit. And basically, I'm just going to change the angle of this. And now you get some pretty interesting stuff. Now, let's kind of crank up the, the segments. Let's do 13 just like 13 uh, so let me kind of uh, do this and uh, some of the cool features that I have here uh, using the mole spline uh, is this little curve check this out this is pretty awesome so basically now I can curve this little guy and all this can be animated and now you get some nice organic objects I can bend this I can bend this whichever way I want to and also I can twist it and you can start getting some very very intricate and pretty awesome uh, kind of design in there uh, and of course if you render this out there you have it now you have this nice little looking cog something something right very cool uh, let me change my thickness let's put about 2.5 now you do whatever you want but that's kind of where I want to be. Um, so basically you have the simple kind of setting here uh, and that comes from the mode here. You have a simple mode uh, that is controlling the complete spline and kind of like the sweep here you have this uh, start and end property uh, basically that you can animate this. You see all these little guys here can be animated Or we can do the N one at a time right in there. It kind of makes a nice, right, nice little animation. You can offset them too. And there you have some nice little offset elements as well. All right, let me put this back to zero. Now, if you notice, if you don't see this little, I just had this because I was doing a previous tutorial. You can just open up by clicking this little um, triangle. Uh, later on, we're going to get involved with that, so don't worry. You can play with that if you want, but right now, uh, you don't have to. But just going to give you an overview on how this uh, mole spline works. Uh, you can actually complete the spline. We can do separate segments, so that way it's controlling kind of like an individual segment. See here? So now they are all part of one growing object. 
Uh, and one of the cool things that I love about this is that you can just create something very basic. And like uh, if you can just throw a uh, inverse volumetric lighting and just throw some, I don't know, I'm just going to throw some blue in there. And you can get some very nice effect just by some simple cinema renders and now you get some nice little detail in there. So if this is what you're looking for, you get a little nice spirey type of thing. This is a quick way to do it. Um, so that's basically one way to utilize your spline, uh, most spline. I hope this tutorial was helpful. I'm going to create another one with some more uh, details, kind of going over some more uh, settings from the spline and uh, how we can implement some of the shapes and objects. All right, I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, you know, just put some comments on my comment box. And uh, don't forget to subscribe as well. Well, thank you.